Look at this. I got headphones <laughs> on. I got a mic going. <laughs> Baby. Huh? If only people could see you now. <laughs> hey, no video. We've gone through this before. All right, no all video. right, all right. <laughs> Welcome to This Commerce Life. This is a podcast aimed at small, medium entrepreneurs focused on commerce. I'm Phil, your host, and Kenny, your co-host, will join us as well. And we're going to talk to you about the world of retail and commerce and how things are changing in the world. Excellent. I'm a little echoey today. But there you go. It's, uh, it's funny to see you in the daytime. It's okay. It sounds like you're in a washroom. Um, I am in a little closet. Closet. It's called the Fortress of Solitude. But uh, white just, walls. All you need is the, you know the jacket, and you're you're set to go. Pretty much. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's um, but it's it's very echoey in here. So yeah, it's totally echoey. Yeah. So this will be an echoey podcast. It will but that's be. all good in the hood. Yeah. What do you do, right? So yeah, yeah. So what happens when you record late, right? Last minute, farting around. It's true. It's true. Um, Cause I, yeah, with, with the travel and then everything else, it's, it's been a little, yeah. What do you do? Nothing. All good. So yeah. what's going on? How was the trip? It was, it was really great. It was really show great. Looked good. Show looked amazing. The show is huge. Yeah. Like they took up all of the, um, they took up all of the East. <clears throat> Camp River is west or east wing of the Orange County um, Convention Center, so like the entire thing. So I think there was something like um, 6,000, 7,000 booths um, at the show. Is like That's crazy. Yeah, it was insane. It was huge. Um, yeah, almost too big, to be honest. The um, problem is that the, those shows <clears throat> like that and Expo will continue to grow because that's where the market's going. Yeah. You know, and then you find these grocery, grocery shows or the yeah. old school, like just yeah. dying a painful death, right? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but it's good to see at least there's some segments of the, of the, of, uh, the economy that seem to be chugging along at a, at a wicked rate, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. all good about it. How did golf go? Uh, golf was amazing. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. Yeah, some really good pictures of that too. So yeah, hey, it, was, it was really good. Um, I'm going to just move the sound panel and see if I can't get... It's not that bad. No, it's okay. Well, I mean, it's echoey, but I mean, what the hell? Well, I'm going to try this and see if it works. Give it a try. Remember, we've set the bar low for a long time. It's all good in the hood. We have, except now we've got kind of like pro sound going on. So well, let's change it right away. Yeah, this will kind of reset the bar. Yeah, there you go. Does that help? Yeah, it does actually. Okay, yeah. It's, it's still good. echoey, but it's not tinny. Yeah, I figured that the table was probably contributing a good chunk yeah. to the, the yeah. sound. So. Yeah, 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 but the show was great. Um, probably some interesting but worrisome trends in there as well, like um, CBD. CBD is everywhere right now. It seems to be the it's miracle. everywhere, but it's not legal anywhere. I don't, I don't know where the hell they're all going uh, with this one. No, I mean it's all great, right? Because it doesn't have THC in it, so. CBD is uh, for listeners. I think you know already, but but it's it's a cannabis byproduct, right? And then CBD is the therapeutic portion or the you know muscle relaxant, you know, or cover. whatever they whatever they think it's going to be, right? Yeah. And then THC is the hallucinogenic part, right? Right. So THC isn't legal, I don't think, but CBD is. Um, I think it depends on what they classify it as. I don't think it's yeah. the claim issue still, right? I mean, there was a lot of talk about. Um, from, from Expo basically saying, is the FDA doing anything about this? Nothing. Right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, what, so what, what are the rules? I don't know. I don't it's think like in it Canada. Happens. I mean, I don't know what the rules are. I mean, I know, I know that definitively, I mean, you can smoke it and die from cancer. Mm -hmm. You could eat as much as you want and screw up all your meds because who the hell knows what you're doing, but you can't mm -hmm. put the product on your skin. Mm -hmm. Correct. I don't, I don't get it. I don't yeah, I mean, I'm not starting the logic of that, yeah. but. But what, everybody whatever. and their mother is, they're putting it in everything right now. Um, I know. You know, and they're all walking around going, we have the best. Everybody says they got the best. But that's the problem with it. So like sooner or later, whether it's the FDA or if it's going to be in Canada, someone's going to have to say, listen, yeah. what is this stuff? Is it standardized? Yeah. What, what am I taking? How am yeah. I using it? Yeah. Is it comparable to what? I mean, how do you, how do you manage that? Yeah. Yeah. I don't it's know. Free, it's not, it can't be a free for all, right? It's, it's a drug. <laughs> like it's got some medicinal properties. I mean, what are they? Yeah. 
Yeah, right? I, I think this is going to be awesome. I mean, there's what else do you have for pain? Nothing. Exactly. Nothing. So if this turns out to be like, you know, that, that drug, shit, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But uh, I don't know. Anyway, I mean, yeah, so that was, that was everywhere. Um, I was surprised not to see as many protein substitutes. Um, oh, really? Yeah. So I thought there would be more. Um, we saw some really neat cricket powders come out last year, but we haven't seen a lot more than that. Um, did see a lot of almost like alternative um, supplements, though, um, like turmeric. Lots of turmeric yeah. on the market. Um, it's hot in people, so I mean, I don't. Yeah. It's, it's, it wouldn't be hot in pets. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's uh, it's getting there. So it's it's hot. There was a, a guy who was making chews out of um, yak's milk and turmeric which is really, really good for dogs and cats and, you know, but anyway, they're, cool. you know, doing stuff like that. Um, yeah, you know, lots of that stuff. So, so you're saying, when you say about the, about the protein subs, so no, um, no, um, no plant-based, like hardcore plant-based type things. I mean, not that a lot of pet owners would jump all over that anyway. I don't, yeah. I don't know if they would or wouldn't. <clears throat> I mean, it's tougher no. than an animal. A dog or a cat, I, you know, are, are basically carnivores. I mean, I don't. Yeah. I don't know if you can make them into uh, vegans or. Don't know. I, I thought cricket powder would be bigger, to be honest. It hasn't yeah. really kicked off in people either, though, yeah. right? Yeah, not yet. Not yet. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's it's it still hasn't. Uh, I you know what it is? I don't think we're there yet. I, I don't think we're we're. we're um, I don't think we think anything's that bad yet. It's coming. I think it will. I don't think there's any issue with it. I think it's all good in the hood. Mm -hmm. But you know how people are, but you know, I mean, we talk climate change, but we all, we still do what we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, we talk yeah. about, you know, waste, but we still do what we do. I mean, you know yeah. what I mean? People are, you know, until you have to, Yeah. it's, it's nice to talk about it and we worry about me really, who cares? I, I think it'll be, I mean, you know, like everything else, it'll be economics, right? So when, when it gets way too expensive to eat. And then it changes um, it. You know, then you change it, right? Like chicken's pretty cheap still, right? So yeah. all of that stuff, right? Until that changes. Yeah, I agree. Adoption. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Man, what about you? What's going on? Counseling, baby. All I've been doing is counseling lately. Had to, seriously, I've had uh it was a funny week. Like the last seven, eight days, like I had almost two people, three people that are thinking of changing positions and two or th three actually that had no choice. Mm -hmm. Do you okay. know what I mean? So it's, it's those weeks where you're basically, and I, it's funny. I mean, people reach out. I mean, it's funny how people reach out to people, right? I guess they figure because again, you know, I mean, I did it at a funny age and I seem to be doing okay. So people reach out and kind of, you know, what, no, like, you know, is it okay? Like, yeah can I do this or now that I have no choice but to do this like is, is it that hard is it that bad and you have to tell people well it's not it's not it's not easy but it's totally doable yeah like yeah. there's there's stuff out there yeah right yeah. but yeah. you know what people are like they're scared right because I mean a lot of people have come off uh you know whether it's 10 15 20 25 years of employment and you know you go into no paychecks uh, you know, it's like, you've done it. I mean, I've done it. I mean, it's, it's, it's hard to, you know, at 22, I guess it's not a big deal when you're in your forties and fifties. It, it It's a deal. Yeah. I mean, you know, cause you're into your forties and fifties, you've got, you know, you, like financially, you've got some goals. You probably got mortgages. Yeah. You're thinking yeah. retirement, you got the kids, you got universities, yeah. whatever it is. Right. Yeah. And you've got a lifestyle, right? Like, so exactly. you went on a couple of trips last year, you, you know, whatever you bought, exactly. bought new clubs, you bought new stuff this year. It's like, holy crap, no trips, no anything. And even then we might make it, we might not make it. Right. So, yeah. And then you go right to dire straits. I mean, are you going to eat? And you're thinking, okay, guys, take a breath of air. Yeah. Chill. Like to take a breath of air. Yeah. Get your, you know, and I, I just, I've told like all six people more or less. You, you, it's and it's, it's easy to say when it's not, um, um, when it's not me. But I've sort of been there. Like you, you oh, got you it. It's hard. You just yeah, take a breath of air. Just yeah. take a breath of air. Yeah. Right? I know it's easy again to say when you're when you're freaking out, but I mean you did it. Yeah. 
I mean, you bailed on us, but you know, but you still did it. Hey, I'm still here. I'm still here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm still here. How's it I, going there? Um, it is going well. It is. Uh, yeah, I got the marketing plan fired up now. We're we're starting to move. Um, you know, just ironing out messages and and you know, got kind of getting everything moving right. But it's uh, you know, so it's funny because what I was just about to say actually applies to this place as well as to anyone who's starting out is you almost um you gotta be ready for like four to five months of extreme networking before things start to come back to you yeah um you know so that's that's kind of the moment that that you gotta look for um so for people who are looking to get out and and do what we do or or do something similar or if you're a marketing person you're looking to get a message out there it, it does it takes you know four to six months, um, kind of planting seeds and, and things like that to get something back that, that is going to help you. Right. So it's like yeah. everything just takes time. Right. I mean, if it, if it was yeah. that easy and that quick, everybody would do it. Yeah. 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 Right? And, I mean, really. and you have to learn to ask. I think that was the hardest part of being a consultant was learning to ask like, yeah, can I work with you? you know, I'm going to charge this much, right? In that first moment, because I think when you're a salaried person, you don't ask for anything. You just expect people to know, hey, this is, you know, like... Well, I do two weeks, I get yeah. paid for two weeks. I do two yeah. more weeks, I get paid for those two weeks. Correct. That, yeah. That's 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 pretty much yeah. the game, right? Yeah. And, and I was saying the same thing to these people. I said, what you got to do, and I said, again, it's easier said than done, but I did it, is, you know, you got to knock on 25 doors yeah. and... Just be prepared. Your one, maybe two are going to open. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, that's that's life, yeah. right? Yeah. And then, and, then, and then know that there are five people who said no, who are really just waiting to see who said yes. Yeah. Or there's, it's a no, not right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. you got to qualify the no. Yeah. Right? Was it really like an emphatic no, get the hell yeah. out of my life, never come back? Yeah. Or no, or, not right now or yeah. whatever, right? Yeah. 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 Tough though, right? I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, I feel for people because I, I mean, I, I, I get it. It's, um, it's, it's, yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's, it's an interesting spot to be in. It's, it's hard. I think if you're a person who needs structure, this is a tough. Oh, you totally. Know, like you and I are, are kindred spirits that way. Yeah. We, we don't need or want structure. <laughs> or, 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 <laughs> or limit the structure. Correct. I don't Correct. mind imposing structure on other people. I just don't want you structuring me. <laughs> That's exactly it. That's exactly it. Well, you know what it's like. Everything I do is do as I say, not as I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? So I said, just because I, I don't practice doesn't mean I don't understand or don't believe in it. I just don't want it done to me. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think that if you're someone who needs a lot of structure, this also might be a really tough, tough. It's a tough gig. It's a tough gig because you have to discipline yourself. Like, I mean, we talked about, you know, how to, how to even uh, work from home when you've been used to going to an office, yeah. you know, for, for 10, 20, 30 years, yeah. it's, 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 it's different. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't change it for the world. I mean, I'm sitting on the couch. It's a nice day outside. I mean, yeah. I've got to head to an office and I got a meeting tonight. You I'm look like you're in a cell block. Solitude. I feel yeah. like, I, I feel like I'm falling in a prison. You, you are in a way. Bring, bring me some pop tires and ramen next time. <laughs> exactly. Maybe put like a metal spoon in it or something. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. okay. It's, it's cool. It's cool. It's okay. So anyway, that was been, that's been my little, my run lately. It's just, yeah, it was, it was a, it was a week of counseling, a week of counseling. I've, um, the other things I'm doing, which are really cool. So into locate and I've been doing a lot of messaging. So we've been reaching out. We found a couple of people that want to um, do content together, um, which is really amazing. Nice. Um, so the struggle is now to be able to figure out compelling content and also be able to, you know, schedule those guys, get interviews in, you know, all that kind of stuff. When you need to do all this with the uh, full-time work. Uh, well, I mean, scheduling by email is fine, right? Cause a lot yeah. of these guys have, um, you know, calendars that you can book into, um, you know, the, you can book me calendars and things like that. So, um, so I can do that. Uh, but, but there is, you know, like content creation, you know, in the middle of the night when you're dead tired is, is hard. Like I, I gotta, I work up to it, right? Like, 
you know, yeah. thinking about it on the way home and thinking about it, you know, cause you, you really can't like content to write good content. You got to be on point. You got to be thinking about it, you know? So yeah. like 10 o'clock at night is usually I got to do something routine. So yeah. it's hard to, it's hard to do, but um, yeah, I, I didn't, um, I kind of ran into this week, this past week with a conference and everything running pretty ragged. Like I was, I actually bought Wi-Fi on the plane and I was, I was doing stuff on the plane. Cause I, I just, I ran out of time, you know, buddy, you're working uh, full time and this, you know, yeah. these gigs are, I, I'm glad you want to go to a pet show. It's all nice, but yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. You know, but the golf with may not care and the golf, you know, you know, a little, yeah. little fluffy time there, buddy, a little fluffy yeah, time. That was, that was, it was pretty intense fluffy time though. I paid, we played 36 holes. Um, the one day and then we played 27 the next day, the guys that were down there with me, they played the two days I was working to, um, yeah. so they, uh, they got these pretty golf. alligator shots and stuff like that. So, wow. Yeah. Yeah. But it's wow. good. It's good. Yeah. Well, it's okay. As long as you enjoyed it and you know, and yeah, you got something cool. out of the show. So what the hell, right? Yeah. And I saw, you saw the Einstein pets yeah. uh, folks down there. So it's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kelly's amazing. Yeah, so the the two talks I did um, went over really well. The um, the first one um, on kind of extending your marketing plan um, was was pretty cool. I think it made a lot of people kind of stop and think about things they got to do and how to tie things together a little bit more. So the the session was called. Um, like follow share. Um, and then the subtext was, um, you know, how to make sure that you go beyond being used as social, go beyond using social media, um, as your primary marketing tool and how to get back to marketing basics. Um, so we went through all of that stuff, right? Like, so what you talk about, like go back to like literally, you know, marketing 100. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of down to your four P's, your SWAT, yeah. like all the stuff that, you know, you think is bullshit when you're doing yeah. it. Yeah. And then, you know, when you come back, you think, well, maybe you should really just start with the basics again. Yeah. I mean, we, I tied in, um, you know, like social media can do a whole bunch of things for you. Like right now they teach you to, to like share things, share anything. Right. And I said, don't share anything like, you know, be deliberate about what you're sharing. Right. Absolutely. And, you know, Especially shares the journey you're on. Right. So if you're, if you're trying to educate, then your post should be about education, right. right. If you're trying to convert you should have a link out to your site. Like if you're trying to put something on sale, it, it should be a pure acquisition. This product is super cheap right now. You should buy it. Right. And, and like, right. You know, kind of that idea of like, you, you need this, but it's an outward arm. It, you shouldn't think of it any different than print or radio or magazine. Yeah. Um, Remember though, that's, that's what we talked about before. That's the, you mm -hmm. know, easy, 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 easy that everybody talks mm -hmm. about. And it's not easy, easy, easy. You yeah. got to think a little bit. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you yeah. start sharing stuff that's not relevant to what you're doing. You're going to lose people. Yeah. yeah, yeah you look like sure. an idiot. I mean, people are going to think, well, I don't understand what this guy's doing. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> he's a pet guy and he's sharing military shit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, I, mean, I mean, you might like it and that's awesome, but it's not going to do with anything you're doing. Make any sense. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we, we talked about that. We talked about knowing your audience. What's the reception like when you do all yeah. this though? Blank yeah, it, faces? Was it was really good. No, there was, there was a lot of writing. There was a lot of questions. We, we literally went the full, these are unusual sessions because they're 90 minutes. Usually they're like 60 or 45. Yeah. 90 is a long time. And we, we went the full 90. Like we, I actually had to leave the room because the next speaker had to kind of get up and get ready. Um, so it was, it was a good session, you know, because people, because what I did is I paired it with what's coming down the road too. So, you know, the idea that social media is going to be a place where um, product discovery is going to happen. Um, people are going to be able to buy stuff from your social feed. But if you don't know who your people are, you don't know what you're advertising. You don't know how, you, you know, like all of yeah. that, kind of, you know, blends itself together. Right. So yeah, I'll, um, in the link in today's podcast episode, I'll, I'll just link out to where those presentations are. Um, so that, uh, you know, if, if people want to grab them, they, they Maybe can. Maybe something to talk about when we, when we record on Thursday night too. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. Because it is stuff. I think again, you know, I mean, just, it, 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 you can, you can just see it. Everybody you talked, it, it's the yeah. basics just have gone sideways Yeah. And, and nothing you're talking about is nothing that hasn't been talked about for a hundred years in traditional. Mm -hmm. It's no different with whatever, it doesn't matter what the medium is. Mm -hmm. The basics are still the basics. Yeah. 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 Well, it's, okay. it's really important. We actually talked about, 
you know, things like Google ads, right? Uh, yeah. Somebody was like, do, do you think you should do that? And I said, you, you got to make sure you know your stuff, right? Because when you get into a Google ad, it's all made very easy, but those are the hardest 30 characters. Like when you write that headline and the second brutal. headline and the, you know, like there's something like, there's a 30, 30, 90, right? So it's like 150 characters you have, but it didn't take you three hours if you don't know what your message is. Right. You know? And so, you know, that's what I was saying to them is just like, this is why it's so important because the internet makes things faster, but if you don't know your business, it, it doesn't matter. It's not going to be faster. It's going to be harder. Well, nobody's uh, going to find you. Yeah. It's like, what was, what was it? Remember your delivery guy story? What did he have on the side of his truck that they were honest and, you know, and thinking, well, what are you going to do? Yeah. Honest delivery. Yeah. Everybody's going to come up. Yeah. Everybody says that. Who cares? What does that got to do with anything? Nothing. Do you know what I mean? Like you got to watch your content is that, yeah, those are, those are wonderful. You know, the most caring person in the world. Oh, well, great. Yeah. You and 1700 million yeah. other people are going to have, how are they going to find you? Yeah. You know, it's hard. Like those, like you said, those, those characters, like you're, you're trying to, you're trying to jam 800 keywords into, you know, like tiny, tiny the possibility stuff. of like 15 words. Yeah. yeah. Like in which ones do you pick? Yeah. And how do you do it and why are you doing it? And when they find that, where do they go? Yeah, I know. I know. So yeah, so that was, it was a great session. Like that's, minutes, that's good though. You know, I just, find, I don't know. I just find it amazing that, that the small business people actually can understand what you're saying though. Because um, it's just not, it's not part of it. I mean, you're, you're running everything else, opening yeah. the doors, the tills, there's, yeah. there's 5 million things on the go. Yeah. Do they really get it? Do they have time to get it? They get it. They don't always have time to get it. Um, so there's, there's definitely those moments where, uh, you know, they, they don't, they don't get it. Right. Uh, or they don't have time to get it. Um, but they, yeah, it was, it was really good. The, the other one um, I did was the, um, how to value your time. And that went, that one was harder than I thought it would be. Um, I think the it's a hard presentation thing, but I think that's a, yeah. that's an easier thing to sit down over a cup of coffee. Um, I think face. it was just hard because I had to hold them account from a podium you know, um, and I, I made them kind of think about it and write down stuff. And, and it's it is hard because when, when we were going through the questions, there were a lot of like, you know, there were a lot, there were a lot of really good questions. There's one guy who was like, listen, I, I'm a, I'm a startup pet store. I don't make any money yet. So when you say add up your revenue, am I supposed to go into the negative? Right. And so we, you know, I stopped for like 10 minutes and worked it out with them. I said, listen, like, so in your case, we probably need to do some finessing. So if you take out everything and just look at what goes through your till, you might want to think about that. And he was like, well, that's not an accurate representation. I said, it is and it isn't, right? Because what goes through the till, who makes that happen? Is that you? And he's like, yes. And he goes, so then that is an have You have influence over it. Right? So you have influence over what goes in that till. So then if you hire a kid to do clean the tanks and clean the pens and for 15 bucks an hour, can you make up 15 in sales? And he was like, Oh yeah. Like I could easily do four or five customers in that hour. Well, that's, that's your answer then. That's your math. Right. And but then you see, but that's like, that's look how long you had to do. So you got hundred people in the room. Yeah. You got to go case by case. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like as on a podium yeah. presentation, that's a very yeah. difficult one to do. It it's great for the concept, but yeah. you know, half the people or 75% left the room thinking, the guy's a fucking idiot. What am I supposed to do? I can't just go do this. I'm like, you know what I mean? Yeah. But whether, if, and if you had 10, 15 minutes of just, okay, listen time, they ask, you answer. 75% mm -hmm. of those people now think, oh, mm -hmm. okay, I, I, now I get it. Because you do. Otherwise, people just leave thinking, the guy's an idiot. We How am do, I going to do this? Yeah, we did do a whole bunch of real life. Like I said to those guys, I said, look, you, you've seen our social media out, like whether it's this commerce life or my own and whatever. And they said, yeah. And I said, news for you I, I don't do my own like I don't do my social my own social media and they all went what I went yeah because you got to do the math right like you got to constantly redo the math right so um there are moments where you go that's not worth my time I'm not doing it right like because I could be out doing something else uh, something else um you know and that you know that kind of resonated with them as well so yeah yeah it's tough for people though but I mean it is it's you know I, I had one of one of my clients that did this I I've made them do the marketing plan. Mm -hmm. 
And I said, I said, I realize that you probably think this is a, a waste of time. They don't because they're really bright. I said, mm-hmm. I can do this for you. It's going to cost you, yeah. you know, 10, 15 hours of time at my rate. Yeah. And I said, quite frankly, this is something you should be doing. Yeah. So I'm sitting down with them for two, three hours of my time only. Mm-hmm. And they're spending the 10, 15. And this one is an important for them to spend because this is their business. Yeah. They need to know. Yeah their customers. They need to know where they're strong, where they're weak. They need to know why they're doing this. And then we can sit down together and compile, right? So in that situation, it's almost the reverse, but it's important at the beginning, know your shit. Now, once they get their shit together and know what they're doing, farm it out, farm it out because it's a plan now. It's it's done. Now it's just the mechanics, right? But you know exactly who you're trying to talk to. And I say trying because you never know exactly, you know, you, you know, mm-hmm. marketing is sometimes a bit of a hope and a prayer too, right? Yeah. But at least you've got the foundation and the basics all buttoned down. Yeah. And you know what? Light her up. And yeah. if it goes, God bless it. If it doesn't, tweak. But at least yeah. you, you're found, you built the foundation. Like, so stuff like that, I think that's what these guys have to understand. You're not saying farm out everything. Figure out your business with an expert if you can. If you don't have the money, then take the time. Do it yourself. But once you get to those, those tasks, out. Yeah. Social media, honestly, is a task. You know that. Yeah. Posting is a task. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But you can't yeah. farm that out until you know your own business too, mm-hmm. because what are you going to tell these people to post? Yeah. Whatever. That's they exactly think. it. That's exactly it. No, yeah. it's not what they think. It's what, what do you want? It's your business. Yeah. I just want you to do it, so I don't have to do it. But yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You, I want you to say what I want you to say. So. Well, you can't tell you can't tell anybody to go post for us on this commerce life if they have no clue what we're doing. Mm-hmm. What are they going to mm-hmm. post? Ooh. What business do they post about? Yeah. You know, Phil sitting in a little yeah. cubicle somewhere in a building. What, what are they talking about? No, well, no, but even that works. So in our case, I actually send this recording in its rawest format to Rachel ahead of time. And then, so she'll know what to post. But she listens to it then. So she knows what we're talking about. Yeah, she yeah. gets it. Yeah. But you can't just say, hey, Rachel, just, just start posting. No, no. Posting what? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need, you need to give them clear instructions. Exactly. Yeah. But that takes you to do the work up front, right? Yeah. And I think that's what a lot of little people don't understand. It just, it's, there's, no, there's no silver bullet. It doesn't just, you know, you have to put a little effort into it, Yeah. right? And yeah. like you said, that's where you can leverage people like us anyway, because we'll probably give you some free time no matter what, right? For sure, for sure, for sure. Like yeah. I should find out what counselors charge. Probably not as much as I do. Maybe yeah. I don't want to know that. What kind of counselor? I'm going to employment counseling because I, I swear to God, that was, the, that was the whole week. It was all, it was all that. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I can make as much money as I do doing what I do, which I still don't know what I really, what I do, but that's a different story. That's a podcast unto itself. <laughs> yeah. What do you, well, no. Yeah. I don't know what you do. You're like a Kenny of all trades. Most times I swear to God, what I, what I think I do is just, I just, it's just sitting there listening. Right. And letting the other side kind of do what they, you know, and then you steer or you ask 50,000 questions. Yeah. So that in there, it starts solidifying what they want to do in their head. Right. I mean, I don't, I don't want to own these businesses. I don't, they're not mine. I don't know what Phil thinks unless I ask Phil a million questions and Phil needs to start answering his own questions. So Phil starts to know what Phil's thinking. It can't be my thoughts. You're like a, um, I think the closest thing I'd have in mind for you is you're like a owner operator guidance counselor. Yeah, I guess so. Something like that. Do you know what I mean? That's not that fancy. We have to find a fancier name for you. Oh, I mean, I want, I want better than that. That's not doesn't sound sexy at all, but, but yeah, conceptually, that's sort of what it is. I I think that's really key, right? Like, cause I, I actually think that in your case, you're doing yourself, a disservice by being a consultant. One hundred percent. I I need to rebrand. Yeah. What Cardan? What Cardan is? Yeah. Right. The marketing and consulting I may have to keep because it's sort of registered and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. all the tagline stuff has yeah. to change. You're because you're like it is that. Like Not going to get people. Operator. I I think that's the one that you do that probably nobody else really does is the owner operator part of it. Do you know what I mean? Like like. Because you really, you go way further than I do in terms of like 
cracking people open, figuring out what is everything, like how do all the puzzle parts fit together? Right. Because um, because my world is more like, I once I understand your ecosystem, what I'm after is how do you how do you sell it? Like, what's the story, right? Like, so I'm a strategic marketer that really fits for where right. I want to go. But for you, you're really like this owner operator, you know, model where you can you can go look like it doesn't matter. You can sell a widget, you can sell a, a shovel or a shoe or whatever it is. But I understand all of the inner workings of how you stitch it together, and you kind of find where all the problems are and fix them. Yeah, you know. Okay, well, what would you, what do we call that? Uh, I have to think about it. It's kind of how the genius works. Now my brain set off. I you know. Gotta just, you gotta wait for something to pop out. Like you could you could shake my head and it might pop out faster, but you know. No, but I can see your thinking. So the thinking's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll think it's good. It. I'll think of it. You know, because I thought I, about that too. I thought you know what? Because what happens is people will let's say go whether they search you or or find your web page is what that says isn't really what I do because I get a lot of people to say, do you want to do, you know, it's a consulting consulting job. I'm thinking that's, that's not what I do. No. I yeah. call myself that because it's easy. It's an umbrella. Yeah. yeah. Right. But it's but sort of not really, that. not really. Mm -hmm. Not really. I, I think actually the skill you have is, is really specialized. It's not, it's specialized in the way that like, it, it doesn't mean you have a small audience. It means you have a really broad audience. Okay. People just don't know until they get you they don't know how many things you can do yeah i think you, you might be right i mean and it's sort of like a jack of all trades where it's not one thing that you know i, I don't do anything i don't do any one thing really well but i do a mm -hmm. lot of things well no, it's like i kill one yeah. thing right so yeah. it's 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 funny like even with um you know with You're my all trades it is sort of that Mm -hmm. But then it's what it is, is because there's tons of stuff I don't know. But then that's when I, I say, okay, now you got it to hear. This is who you talk to for this. Yep. This is who you talk to for that. Yep. This is who you talk to for that. This, and then I can send you off and say, okay, that's, there's your experts. Yeah. Now I can help you, right? I can help you decipher. But quite frankly, they're probably going to get to the point quicker than I'm going to, right? I mean, two, two, of, the, two of the accounts are retailers, and I am involved in marketing, merchandising, and operations. Right. I mean, yeah. what is that? That's that's, that's ADD. operator. I don't know what the like. I yeah, know. I don't know what the descriptor is, but but that's that's what you know, right? Is that kind of that owner operator? I don't know. I'll leave it in my head. I got to think about that. Down too. Early, it's not gonna it's yeah. not gonna come out right. So no, because it's been bugging me too. Because I think I need to rebrand. All right. See, that's what people also have to understand. See, you, you know, we've been doing this and we're doing, but we're both doing well. Mm -hmm. And yet, what are we doing? Always well, trying to think, okay, always rebranding, right. always rebranding. How do you fix it? How do you tweak yeah. it? How do you take these things out, add these things in? Because it is, but again, back to content. When I'm writing, if I keep saying consult and consult, I'm not really, I'm, I, I mean, I, I consult, yeah. but I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not the consultant that people think mm -hmm. of. It's not that guy. Mm -hmm. I don't do this project shit. Like I don't come yeah. in and just do, yeah. I, don't, I don't do that. Yeah. Told yeah. you that time I had to do the proposal. Oh fuck. That was almost killed me. <laughs> All right. That's the end of this commerce life. We'll be back soon with the next episode. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give us feedback. Tell us what you think. Subscribe, like us, join us, share us, tell your friends about us. And uh, we hope to see you next time with, uh, with more commerce news.